Hi everybody, Co Carnage here with a very fast tips video. Some top 10 tips here for Starfield that I wish I had known at the beginning. Some quick notes, uh, you will find a jetpack boost guide if you wanna know how to zip around quicker, as well as a ship building tips tutorial and a an outpost building tips tutorial if you want those in different videos. We'll have those linked in the description. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go down the ends real fast because I hate when videos like this take a long time. So we're gonna do this quick and get you all this information really fast. You ready? Here we go. My first tip when using the mining laser, make sure to hold down right click. This focuses the beam and it makes it go a lot quicker. It's super convenient. So make sure to be holding right click. Two, anytime you get a journal entry for a quest, you can open your journal and using R, you can set a course directly to that location. It saves a whole bunch of zipping in and out when you are trying to get around in the map. And it just makes things very quick, especially if you're really digging the quest that you're doing like you see Vanguard and want to just keep it moving. Three, anytime you get to a system, click on the gas giant and survey it. Not only does this give you experience, but you can also sell this data to Vlad on the eye for a whole lot of credits. He actually buys it for more than normal, so make sure to sell to him. You may have to progress the main story to a certain point to do that, so make sure that you are able to sell to him before you sell it anywhere else. Four, anytime you go into the ship, or really you pass by any bed, sleep for an hour. It will not only heal you up to full, but sleeping and passing time really doesn't have any effect in the game, so there's no negative. And you also get a 24 minute 10% experience buff. So anytime you're kind of near a bed or passing one, or you're, you're about to do a big quest, sleep in a bed, get that experience buff, and then speed everything up, get more levels. Five, ship parts level with you. So as you gain levels, make sure to be checking the ship vendors frequently because you may be able to get better reactors, better speed, better weapons, better all sorts of things um, as some parts only unlock as you are leveling your character. Six, if you are ever out in the wild, make sure to get the wolf system on your map and get comfortable with where it is because if you ever have contraband, you can zip over to the den and you can sell it there. So whenever you're out exploring around and you get one of those items that is uh, gives you a warning when you try to go to like the new Atlanta system, find the wolf system, find the den, zip over there and sell. And that actually brings us to our next point, number seven. If you ever do that or need any vendor to refresh, keep in mind you can find a chair or anywhere nearby that you can sit and then hit the B key to wait. If you wait 24 hours, check the vendor again. Sometimes his credits will be back. If they're not, do another 24 hours. And at that point, their stores will refresh and you can sell all of your juicy stuff like contraband or whatever and get max credits for it. Number eight, this is a big one. When you are out in the world, if you hit the F key to bring up your scanner and look at your ship, if you are less than 250 meters from it, you can bring up your inventory, you can go to ship, and then hit the F button to access its cargo hold. At this point, you can dump all of your resources, any weapons, suits, and gear you've looted. You can basically manage everything to your ship's inventory from there. And if you're smart and have a big old cargo ship, you can basically use it as a giant mobile bank and constantly find yourself beautifully under encumbered, which of course we all know is the dream. Nine, there is a stealth system in this game. I know when you stealth around, you don't see it, which is weird, but that's because you need to put one point in stealth. So if you wanna have a little bit more stealth awareness as well as seeing that bar, keep in mind, you do need to pop a point in there. This is not the only skill where it gives you kind of feedback for putting a point in. So look around in the skill tree, see if there's other stuff that may apply to that and uh, make sure to get at least rank one of those skills so you can kind of, you know, see what you're doing. And finally, get lock picking early. Really this applies to lock picking specifically, but there are lots of skills that do this. And the reason I say this is lock picking, for instance, is a barrier to loot. And as you level up your skills, you're gonna have to do little challenges to get there. Lock picking requires you to unlock things. So the earlier you get lock picking, the more unlocks you'll get to, the more you can do, the faster you can get at the skill, the more loot you will get. So there are some other skills, kind of like commerce or scavenging, things that you are definitely gonna to wanna to look at early because some of the things that you need to do for them take a little bit of time. But lock picking especially, is probably one of the first skills I'd recommend getting as you get those novices, then advanced, and then experts, and then masters, uh, everything just kind of goes quicker the sooner you can do that. And that gets you more loot. So anyway, that's it for this tips video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you use some of these. Uh, this is our first tips video. We may make another if we need to, or this might be it. We're gonna call it tips one anyway. As always, you can find me at twitch.tv slash go carnage. Thank you so much for being here. And I will uh, see you later for more fun games. Bye-bye.